Turned out pretty good. Nothing heavy. How do you like this contraption? Hey, when you don't have an actual chop saw, it works. Let me tighten it up a little. <laughs> yeah, we're going to cut this apart. I'll probably mute this part. You don't want that shit screaming in your ears. Let's cut this open so we can make something out of it. Alright. What do you know? I forgot to plug it up. I'm not even going to get this part out. One more again. Might make it a little easier to get open. Yeah. It was a can of spray protectant. Kind of like, uh, what do you call that stuff? I forget the name of it. Uh, yeah, I finished the can off spraying it on my boots to water protect them. And cut the top of the can off on the uh, chop saw. And this is what we got left. A perfect, uh, just over two inch circle ready to accept some uh, hot freaking lid oh man that thing's stiff Need a little do a little maintenance to her let's see we'll go straight to the pliers Woo! look at there i wish i knew how much that weighed i should have weighed it That'll uh, be pretty good. Hang on, let me go get the hammer and we'll look at it. Oh, here she is. Come out pretty good. I'm going to put a few, uh, few more grooves. I think we're going to go up to here somewhere. Just, I don't know. It doesn't seem like enough. Seems like we need a few more. As you can see, this is just big enough to uh, clean up and hopefully make a pad for this guy. I tried it before, but it didn't work out for me. But then again, I wasn't uh, wasn't really doing doing it right. So I think we got the solution for it this time. You know what? We're gonna turn up that feed a little bit. I got it on the slowest setting, and I think we can do a little better than that. So we need to turn this lever over to one. And turn this lever over to C. We got it. All right. We'll see what happens. Too much off. 
I had it adjusted back this way so I could have a straight shoulder. It seems like it likes it. Seems like lead likes that straight shoulder. So let's adjust this real quick so we can face this off. You know, I really didn't have to do that. I could have just loosened this, but oh well. This is the Cringe Machine Co. close up on that. A few rough spots. But for a first time lead cast and I don't think it's too bad. Maybe I put a should have poured it uh, slower or faster. I don't really know. Alright, let's measure what we got. A trusty Chinese uh, measuring device here. We got two five, so we need to take two and a half. Let's see if we can hit it. Back. There we go. It's gonna 
change our zero, of course, but we'll find it again. Look at there. Dead on. And people say these Chinese ladies are shitty. Yeah. Anyways, you've seen it yourself. I'm no expert. I'm not even good at math. Let's see. How long do we want this to be? Maybe seven five for the pad. And another seven five for the threads. Let's see. Seven five for the pad. We'll scratch that. I don't know if you can see it. I can barely see it. Let's put some stuff on it. So, seven five. Lock it down. Get a scratch on it. Get another seven five for the thread, so we have enough. Yeah, let's get it back a little bit. Still at two inches. Just a hair over. Looks like two over. 
can live with that. We're going to be using an 18 millimeter with 2.5 thread pitch. Mainly because metric is all I have and uh, this is the coarsest threads that I have in metric. I tried a bit thinner threads last time. Didn't go so well. I think uh, the thicker the better probably with lead. You got more meat to grab onto. And uh, less of a chance for it to gall. Although it might not matter what we do. So, what do the sizes need to be for 18 millimeter? Let's look it up. 18 millimeter, 2.5 thread. We're going to be at 6220 for the hole. And of course, 18 millimeters for the shaft. Six two two, and uh, yeah, and eighteen. Let's see if we can get there. shot of course I'm messing around watching the threads come off I'm not paying attention to what we're doing seven five just over but that's okay it's not gonna hurt anything it'll give us more to gall off right we still got seven five up here and that's what we wanted so let's just get down to six two two switch around to something else be right back so we've swapped out for an insert tool the shoulder I got it almost square but uh, should do better than what we have 
the finish on this part might be a little wonky. It won't be as shiny, maybe, but at least the work, at least the uh, tailings won't wrap back around and weld itself back to the work. shot it. 622 is what we need. We didn't overshoot it. Look at there. Alright, let's see what we got. We're at six five five. So let's take let's take fifteen off.
six, three, two. So let's take five. Six, two, one, nine, it looks like. Let's see what it really is. Six, two, one, nine, right on the money. Some of you older guys, or guys that know what you're doing, was watching yesterday, I'm sure you noticed that I uh, got my measurements mixed up. I uh, cut this to the size of the hole instead of the size of the stud for the threads I'm wanting to do. So yeah, off camera I uh, fixed all of it because I didn't want this video to be three hours long. So yeah, we're gonna hop to it. I fucked this up royally last time, but I didn't use this as a backstop, so I'm gonna try to use this to push it in and keep it square and keep some steady pressure on it. And uh, I'm also gonna back it off a lot more this time. I think I was trying to push it a little too hard last time. Uh, that's probably the reason it galled, to be honest with you. When I say it's a noob. Alright, you guys ready? Alright, I think we could probably let this red. Well, no, that's not going to be good. Hmm. You know, I didn't really think about that. Let's just hold it with our hands. Get it some more. And let's back it off. I'm gonna be backing it off a lot. back off you know what I wonder if I should just push this rather than using my my, my quills a little stiff 
Uh, generally, when you get these machines, you need to take them off, take them apart, and deburr them, and just kind of uh, go over them. I have it done the back step. I'm at the. Uh, Huh, yeah, I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's keep trying. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not looking too good. Yeah, it's not looking too promising. I don't even know if you can do this. So I wanted to get a close up of what this was looking like. I don't know if you can see that very well. It doesn't pick up very good on camera. But it is just fucked to hell and back focus yeah it's just it's ripping right back out is when i try to break the trip chip and bring it back it just it just galls it's too soft i have uh i have some brass in the mail so that should be in soon i hate to leave this video on such a shitty end but it's what we got today guys they don't call it cringe machine co for nothing till next time